Good morning, I'm Echo and today I'm going to show you how to make caprese sticks. These caprese sticks are so delicious and super easy to make. If you like caprese salad like me, you love this appetizer. A healthy, quick, and a gorgeous starter great for parties, potlucks, and get-togethers. I love this food. It's my go-to recipe when I'm craving for something fresh, healthy, and flavorful food or snack on a busy weeknight. So, let's get started! Good morning, I'm Echo and welcome to Echo's Kitchen. Here are the ingredients. Fresh cherry tomatoes, mozzarella cheese, fresh basil leaves, balsamic glaze or balsamic vinegar, extra virgin olive oil, salt and pepper. Take a skewer and alternate basil leaves, cherry tomatoes and mozzarella cubes. You can skewer them according to your preferred arrangement. I'm using a mozzarella ball today. It's about the size of a small orange fruit. I've cut them in small cubes. But if you can find chili genie mozzarella, I recommend buying this type instead because they're about the size of a cherry. They're the perfect mozzarella size for caprese skewers. Bocconcini is okay too. You're just gonna have to cut them in small cubes because they're about the size of an egg. When you've skewered all the fresh ingredients, drizzle the caprese sticks with extra virgin olive oil, season them with salt and pepper, and drizzle with balsamic glaze reduction. When making caprese sticks or caprese salad, I highly recommend to use room temperature ingredients for best taste. If your fresh ingredients are stored in the fridge, take them out and let it sit for at least 30 minutes on the counter. Fresh mozzarella is sold in small plastic containers or bags filled with water or whey. Keep in mind that once you've opened the packaging, the mozzarella should be eaten within a few days. I recommend to eat them sooner for best quality and taste. If you're throwing a party, impress your guests with this amazingly delicious Easy Finger Appetizer. You can prepare it ahead of time, keep them in the fridge, and take them out 10 to 15 minutes before your guest arrives. Don't throw the leftover glaze because it's perfect for bread dipping. Time to dig in! And as always, enjoy! Thank you for watching! If you like this recipe, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And if you haven't already, please like and follow my Facebook page and subscribe to my YouTube channel so that I can continue to provide you with insightful videos and delicious recipes. If you have suggestions or questions about the recipe, please leave me a comment below. I would love to hear from you. Thank you for your support and I'll see you guys soon. Bye!